A penny for your thoughts. Oh, it's nothing. Um, I was just thinking about... About what? Don't tell me your flow has stopped. No. Today makes it seven years that I've been married without a child. I know today makes it seven years, but why do you have to keep torturing yourself over that? Well, I believe that at the dearness of time, God will fulfill his promises to you. You will have a child. When? When? Why not now? I owe you for your love and endurance. I just have to give you a child to make you happy. Oh, God. Who says I'm not happy? Who says I'm not happy married to a woman like you? Both of us are medically sound. The Bible is replete with people who have been through worse circumstances than, than ours and they came out smiling with their own children. If the worst comes to the worst, we'll go to the motherless baby home and adopt a child or two. Good morning, madam. Uh -huh. um, madam, there's a little problem. What do you mean? You know that girl, every girl. She's sleeping outside. She, she's outside the gate, still sleeping. You're an idiot. Didn't I tell you I don't want to see her around this premises? Madam, I do as you talk, but uh, there was one that I had a problem. Uh, as I was just saying, I closed my eyes more. She can't come. I don't know. Konika, she can't sleep. I don't know. That girl is evil. Go get her for me. Go and call her for me. Go and call her for me. Okay. okay. How are you, Chichi? Good morning. Good morning. Um, Madame Yen want to see you. Huh? I say Madame Yen want to see you. Follow me. In there, leave it there, leave it there. What do you mean? have anywhere to go to. I don't have anybody to talk to. I'm alone in this whole world. What about your parents, your uncle, or whatever? I don't have any man. I'm an orphan. Then why don't you go to the orphanage home? I'm pregnant, ma. Pregnant for who? For Harry. For Harry? You give this little Rachel gold digger. You want to live here? No way. 
You better get out of this house before I send you to your early grave. Please. What? If you know what is good for you, go and get rid of that thing in your womb. If not, you will suffer and die with it. Do you understand? Please. Get out of here! Please. Oh, take her out of here! Oh, yes. Please, you Take can help me. Take this little girl out of here. Before I throw. Don't say. Let us go. Let us go. Please, man. Let my go tonight. Let us be here. Please, man. Hello. Duke. Madam, please. Duke. Madam, Where is he? Duke. Please. I'm, I'm calling you. Don't let me do my job. I, Don't. I'm sorry, please. Madam, oh, 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 oh. If please. I ever see this girl around this premises, you are sucked. And for you, Madam, take this one and get rid of this thing in your room. I don't have any letters. Take it away from my house. Come on, let us go. Just come and close my gate. Thank you, madam. Don't, don't let me do my temple on you. Your my friend, we do this this thing. Don't let me do my temple on you. Tim, don't cry. Look, cry cannot solve this problem. Madam, no go here. If you talk for, if you cry from now to tomorrow, madam, no go here. The only thing is to go to Ayegune. You know Ayegune. Go there and talk some talk to people there. Let them help you solve your problem. I don't know anywhere. I don't Look, it is very simple. Just you enter when you get to the bus stop, very close to your party. You take some, you take a bus going to Ayegune. I die young shum. Okay? I don't want to lose my job. Please, I can talk for now. I'm going inside. I don't want to lose my job. Ajebule. Ajebule. Yeah. I want to Ajebule, we don't feel like this. So we just get to join you. Mm. They just, you see people from Ajebule, they just give us some death Ajebule. Let's just uh, go straight to that, uh, to that place. I won't branch anywhere. And we just go down. Okay. okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Good day. Eh, eh. Brother. Thank you. Um, how much, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm afraid. If you go back to Lagos, you forget me. How how can you say that? You know, true love is like true fire that burns. It, it, it's ever burning. It never hurts. It's never old, nor young, or tires. It just keeps burning, keeps getting stronger and stronger. I love you. Remember how much science is I knew you were going to say that. But, um, I mean, just like the beam of the sun, and the breeze of the sea. Leaves come with the sea, they, they, they are compacted, they are always compacted, they are together. It's like you and I are meant to be together. Lagos, Ibo, Lagos. 
Aso alo jo ichoka. Echi chebu omo akwariri iju amule. Henry, you are a disgrace to this family. So if your father had been alive, would you have been going around impregnating young girls? You don't understand what? Which girl were you sleeping around with in the village? So it's true. And you have the gut to say it. Eh? Anyway, I have given her money for abortion. I can see that you don't even know your class. Shameless thing. Who says? Mommy, hi. Oh, my dear. How are you? Hi, thank you. Who hey. was that that you were talking to on the phone that was hearing your voice from the gate? It's your brother, Henry. Just five days he spent in the village. One wretched looking girl in a filthy dress came in to say she's pregnant for him. Can you imagine that? A girl from the village? Yes. Is this a joke or something? This is no joke. Anyway, how was the story? Not bad at all, except for this the usual normal strike. So how have you been? Well, I'm fine. I'm managing. Do not bring anything. Don't worry, I'll see you later. Come, go, please. <laughs> So, how are you doing that? So, my sister, that is the story of my life. It is quite pathetic. Anyway, like they say, she who has a heart to love should also have the heart to bear the bruise of it. Sometimes, love hurts. Now, it's a place I can lay my head. Well, if you don't mind here, though the roof is leaking, when it rains, it gets flooded, the latrine stinks. I practically struggle for space with cats and rats. I sleep with bugs and roaches. But still, I know I am lucky to have a place in that city. I don't mind. Thank you very much. It's no problem. Don't mention. Mm. So, what can I offer you? Mm. What would you eat? My sister, at this time of my life, it is not what I need. It is what I say. Mm. Anything. Come oh, no. on, don't say that. Let me get Papa and Akara so that we can eat, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I'm coming.
Hi, baby. Hi. Morning, mom. Morning. And where are you going to with the traveling back? I'm going to the village for a short trip. I want to go and find Chichi. Do you have any message for the people at home? You are mad. Who do you want to go and see at the village? That little, wretched, ugly looking girl? Oh my god. Are you sick upstairs? Look, mom, honestly, you're overreacting again. Okay, come on. Look, she's ugly. She's poor. Well, even if she's wretched, it's inconsequential to me. Look, if you must know more, we're talking about a human being here. And I love her very much. How dare you talk back at me? You just shapeless thing. I'm sure you know the worst you can do is slap me. That's the answer to everything. Brute force. Take care of yourself, mom. You be take care of her. I'll see you soon. Harry, if you ever leave this house, to the village. Don't you ever come back to this house. I'm tired of your empty threats, mom. You forget that this is my house. My father's house. I will surely come back here. If there's anybody that needs to leave his house, it's here. You go back to your father's house. Take care of our house. Baby, I'll come. Harry, 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 just take care of yourself. Mom, why don't you just leave Harry alone? I think Harry has been caught in a love web. Or something. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? What do you know about the Get back to what you're doing! Come. Any luck? No, my sister. Lagos is indeed a place of good and most. <laughs> Lagos, Lagos. The land of myth and fantasy. The city of hope and utopia. Many come in search of fortunes, but later discover that not all that glitters is gold. Just a few days in Lagos, I have seen poverty and plenty, tears and laughter, ups and down. My dear, life here is rough, survival is tough. Many cry, for they can't find neither food nor shelter. So, how do you survive amidst these chaos and frustrations? <laughs> I survive. I survive because I'm a Nigerian. I survive because I'm born to survive. I wish I could survive.
Good morning, lady. How's your head? The girl brought you here and she told you we were going to die. The person's here late. I foot the bill and commenced treatment. You have been here for the past three days. I hope you're fine. You don't feel any pain since you stay. You need to rest. Come back to see you. Badly affected at all. No, doctor, please. No. Doctor, I, I don't want to keep the baby. I want this pregnancy to be please. Chichi, why? Why? You have a good. Couples are crying day in, day out to God for this golden gift. But their prayers are bad. You have it and you want to destroy it. Let me tell you, Dr. Joe, my boss, with all his riches, with his caliber, for seven years, he has been looking for this golden gift for God. You have it here. So it pains to be poor and homeless. It pains to be wretched and hungry. To live under the bridges and in the streets. It 
meant to roam the streets without food. Ruth. No one to talk to. I know where to run to. It even pains more to be a refugee when you go to fantasy. I'll bring your meat and eat it myself. I know you will do that. <laughs> I'm not making a fool of myself. I don't care. Can I have your number? Eh? Please, please now talk. And, and I know why. You won't understand. Please just, just talk to me. Okay, what's the number? Yeah. How many fives? Five, five. Five, 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 five. Okay? That's it. Okay. GG, right? Oh, what did you say your name was? What, what's your name now? Oh, what's your name, baby? What's your <laughs> Oh, okay. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. I'll call you! What's the problem? See, um, you know that girl I met at the restaurant? I still find it difficult to believe she's not the one. Listen, Harry, I am really disappointed in seeing you worry yourself over nothing. I mean, that girl does not want the agony you inflict on yourself. Look, if that girl was really interested in you, she would have at least kept to one of the one million dates or appointments you had with her. Come on, Henry. You, you know I hate to see you in this room. It's okay, baby. I'll be all right. Then. You sure? Yeah, baby. Thanks. Okay. Take care.
Madam, any problem? Are you a problem solver? Huh? Will you get the hell out of my sight? I'm sorry. Get out! Get out! This girl like a house girl. Did I hear you say house girl? Now you tell me. How many house girls live the way she does? She lives in this house for food. Eats virtually everything she wants. And work, designers create positions in house help. Huh? When I was it? How much help did I get from people? House girl. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Don't even try to! Don't try to! Listen, I am tired and confused of the way you treat her! She deserves it. I can have a whole lot more. Is that what you say? By the way, when did all this start? Right at the same time you started your pranks. My pranks? Yes. You too! I thought she said she fixed this room. 
Where's that go? Shishi! Shishi! Huh? I thought you said you cleaned that room yesterday. That room is dirty! I want you to clean it. This time, kill it! What's your problem? In fact, I want you to clean the entire house. I don't want to notice any dirt. Now listen. Listen very good. If I notice every item besides the one who didn't do, Chichi, Chichi, ma, that's your name, right? Yes, ma. I will strip it of everything, and you will never be back to kill them. Do you understand? Yes, ma. Do you understand? Yes, ma. What did I do? Lucky my dear, and one. Lucky my dear, and two. Chug that. Lucky my dear, and three. Yeah! Widow, 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 widow. Oh! Yeah! Now do with this. Now which guy my yiki can't do? I was see. Now, I think it's good for you. And you don't find so you can't make it. Do. Please, I'm looking for Henry. Uh, Henry, you don't come and say sorry with your uncle. And Madame, you did. Madame, you don't talk that. I make know how you do it. I am not whom you think I am. My name is Eva. And I've not met you before, have I? Maybe you're not Eva. Maybe you, Johnny. Maybe you come the other time and talk that. Hey, your name is Tintin. Talk that Henry. Now, Henry don't give you better. Now, you talk that. Hey, your name is Eva. And you think that because you don't go where he is. And then this thing, Madam, you know, you know, you. What kind of insult is this? Is this a joke or something? I'm not joking here. I'm not joking. Look, Madam, you didn't say. Can you please call me? Tell me who they call me. 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 Tell me who Look, if Madame come, I go talk to you. Madame, you don't talk to you. This guy, wait. Hey, get it right for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I go know who the embarrassment. I'm going in time. Madame, talk. I know what to tell Madame. Eva, I'm really, really sorry for that embarrassment. Diva, I don't know who is Diva. Diva! Diva, what's wrong? Diva, it's 
me. Eva. For you, eh? Oh, my God. 
Your if you don't mind anyway. No, I don't. But you see, there's a, I'm afraid there's a slight problem. Um, Chichi came by the house while I was away in the United States, and mom embarrassed her so badly, the poor girl ran away. And since then, I've not had contact with her. Mom claimed she hated her because she was a village girl and came from a family that had no name. Um, honestly, Henry, for God's sake, how can a mother raise her hands on someone's child? That's bad. Look, I understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all this. I just don't know any other way to express how sorry I am. It's alright. Okay? For my sake, forgive her, okay? It's okay, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Babe, I'm going to be late. My flight is 12 30. Honey, how many days are you going to stay? Are you spending in the States? Mm, <laughs> about three weeks. I'll be there till I complete the project. Three I'm weeks? Coming. Did you say three weeks? But I told you before. Mm, how can I go without you for three weeks? Come on. <laughs> you know, absence makes the mind grow fond. <laughs> You're saying you miss me? Yes, I'm going to miss you seriously. <laughs> so, yeah. what about that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Let's make love. Oh, darling, please. Why do we have to rush into it as if we just want to have our feel and the spice? 
I'll miss my flight anyway. I'm not even doing me nothing, man. I'll do it all night. Oh, I'm really going to miss you. I miss you too. Come on, I have to catch my flight. Okay? Right. Grab the other bag. No, the, the stuff's like I have, I have I picked up from mom's room. Okay. Come on, my shoes, my oh, trainers what, outside. What is that bag? No, 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 I don't need it. My okay. trainers are outside. Come on. Shut the door. All right. It's so good to see you. Diva. Wonderful. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Steve. <laughs> Diva. You abandoned me. Why? Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Joy. This is Steve Williams. My schoolmate and an ex-boyfriend. Hey. Poor introduction. Eva! You call me an ex-boyfriend? After all I've done for you? Come off it, baby girl. I deserve an apology now. <laughs> Eve, I'm sorry. But um, come to think of it, we were never lovers, were we? <laughs> Would you ever believe that a guy-girl relationship could ever be platonic? Please. Send me distress and emotional pain. <laughs> You're still the old Steve I used to know. The slick. And I'm still real. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up? Oh, cool. Um, what do we get for you, please? The cheap bottle of stuff would be okay. Okay. Um, Joy. So. So, how has it been? Rejecting me is like killing me before my death. Thinking of all the love we've shared together, all the things we've done together, how much I've sacrificed for you. How could you uplift my hope and abandon it without conscience? <clears throat> we were never lovers. Steve, and you know it. Why are you making me feel guilty? But you made me believe you were in love with me. How can you believe I'm in love with you? I never said to you I love you. See, Steve, we were friends, yes. Maybe love would have worked out between us. But I'm sorry it's too late. I already have someone in my life and I love him very much. Eva, you know I hate people toiling with my emotions. I could be stupid at times and I'm sure you know that. Please forget it. Forget it. It will never work out between us. And I'm serious. Very serious. Come in, the door is open. Um, pardon me, sweet people. I'm looking for an angel I left behind. Jesus Christ! <laughs> mm. 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 How you doing? Fine. Turn thank around you. for me, baby. Look at you. I really left an angel here. Oh. I've got something for you. What? I bought it from Asia. Like it? Good. This is beautiful. It's not as beautiful oh, as you, though. Oh, I love it. How does it fit? Oh, that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you. And it's splendid seeing you again. You look like a movie star. I feel like <laughs> a movie star. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Uh, um, so where's Joy? I have something for her in the car. Joy? Ah, mm -hmm. She's gone out. She's gone out? Yes. Um, who's the brother man? Oh, um, this is uh, Steve, my schoolmate. Yes. Hey. And uh, Steve, um, my fiance Henry. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> homeboy? Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, okay? 
so warm, sweetheart. I know you missed me. Very much, <laughs> very <laughs> much. <laughs> So how are you doing? I'm fine. I missed you so much. <laughs> you know, missing you is like being a prisoner. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> well, the point here is that you know, I had to facilitate other means to make sure my project finishes on time. Okay. So here I am. I love you very much. I love you too, sweet. <laughs> well, I would have been here earlier, but I, you know, I went from LA, stopped by New York to see a friend of mine. Yeah. Then we went over to party to see a couple of things. I know I have business there too. Okay. Then Dubai, that's where I picked up the soft course. <laughs> oh yes, it's beautiful. I love it. Ah, I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, sweetheart. Mm. Well, why don't you get me some to drink, like a glass of water, right? Alright, I'll do that. Hey, your muscle man is leaving. Steve, where to? I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just give me um. One minute, let me see you. Don't worry, I'll take care of myself. Okay. This is your sickness on day too much. You better make a phone go hospital. But I will want one. This one with no money for my hand. Don't worry. I will come and go find money. You hear? You cannot seek here. Yeah? Hmm? You cannot seek again. You cannot seek. Oh, it's even that you're doing this thing. You two darling bitch. So all this time you were hanging out with that one person, piece of trash. You can have a fucking thing. Get off! Please. Long after the music has stopped. Come on, just confront him. Alright. Yeah, bye. Hi love. Baby. Who was down the phone? Mm, it was Eva. Eva. Henry, she's sorry. She's sorry. How many times have I told you before? Stay out of my face. Do you understand? Stay the hell out of my face. I'm your older brother for Christ's sake. I don't need you coming into my face and poking around. Henry! Do you know what she did? Oh no, you're not aware. But look at you, you're just prying into my face. I introduced that to you, not vice versa. Have I made myself clear? Allow me to walk my problems out. You are prying into my private affairs. And you're beginning to act like a mom. Excuse me? I have already made myself very clear. Please hold on. Ah, Uncle Henry, good evening. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Yeah, thank you. Where is uh, where is she? 
in our bedroom. Okay, why don't you finish with TV and go to bed? I'll lock up. Virgin. I thought he was coming. No, he didn't succeed. Um, you came in on time and intervened. He wanted to wreck me. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I saw you there. You looked like you were enjoying the whole thing. I was trying to break free. Can we make love now? Hmm? Yes. Food is ready. Hey, baby. What's up? But then now, guess who's coming to dinner? Carolina. No, Carolina. <laughs> Woo! Smells good. Mm -mm -mm. Well. Come, how come you have more meat than me? What do you expect on the baby of the house? <laughs> okay, I could put you there. <laughs> Hi, Hello. <laughs> you arrived on the Yes, and I came at the right time. Okay. Yeah, sit down. When are you? Yeah, sure. I will. Um, Harry, mm -hmm. please, I would like to talk with you. Mm. Why don't you sit as well, dog? Please. Mm. Mm. I'm so hungry, I can't eat this food. Right. Um, please, um, let me excuse you, guys. No, you oh. can go with your food. That's how it's talking to you. Don't worry. Now I'm going to eat inside my room. Don't worry. Baby, you don't mind, though. You don't mind, though. Alright. Stop, bro. Stop. Can you please listen to me? I'm listening to you. I'm with my mouth, not my ears. Not from my end. Not from my I just need to think. Sit down. Are you sure? Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah.
Hi, Henry. How are you doing? Fine, sir. How is your mom and Becky? Uh, Becky, yeah, they are fine, sir. They are cool. Now, I'm going to go to the gym for a second. Ah, go on. Oh, yes. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Larry, I don't think you're serious. Look, I have a patient down there. I have to go. I'll go to him. Henry, talk. I'm listening. Look, have you infested yourself with any of the STDs? Then why? Have you impregnated a girl? There's a big downstairs. Too much. She, she's pregnant. I just want to make sure. Anyway, let me just go and see to my patient. Right? I'll see you. Wait, Uncle, just a minute. There's there's another detail I think you should know. Yes! She's pregnant for you. Yes, I'm going my way. Henry, 
that little poor orphan is seven months, two weeks pregnant. She has suffered for shelter, starvation and humiliation. She has gone through the agonies of the worst kind. Look, ever since she was born, 21 years ago, by her careless mother, who just, you know, abandoned her when she was eight months to a nanny. And she just disappears into thin air. Till now, this girl is still suffering. She is at the peak of death. Henry, let me tell you, all hope is on God. You could I know. She will not die. She will not die. God has done. I'm also a victim of such circumstance. Not quite long ago. The doctor I have lived with all my life, thinking he's my father, broke the eyes and told me the story of my life. How I was abandoned 21 years ago on a sick bed by an unknown woman. It's okay, it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Shh, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. She's going to be all right. Okay. Hmm? Don't worry. Doctor, I hope nothing is going to happen no, to her. No, nothing is going to happen to her. Life is like that. It's happening. No, no, listen to this. When I listen to both, you know, girls, Whatever they told me, their stories, I mean, everything seems the same. Yes. So I'll, I'll, I'll be glad if, if, if you are free, you, you, you could just pop into the uh, hospital and then let's see how best we can solve this puzzle. Yes. Henry, Henry and the lady are, are still around. Okay, dog. I'll be expecting you. When are you coming? Okay, okay, I'll be expecting you. Okay, bye bye. A lie. <laughs> but how can? Is, is he blind? Henry came to my office today with a girl for a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. That girl looks exactly like Chi Chi. I mean, she is Chi Chi's photocopy. You cannot spot a single difference between the two of them. When I heard both their stories, I felt like crying. Would you believe that Chi Chi's mother abandoned her 21 years ago when she was eight months at the hands of a nanny? She has never known her mother. Today the nanny is dead and she's just like an orphan. The other girl's story is about the same thing. She was abandoned 21 years ago at exactly eight months also, but this time at a hospital sick bed. I don't know what this world is coming to. Judith. Can you take me there? Please. Please, Joe, please. I beg you. Okay. Can you take me there? I have to see them, please. Please, please, please. Please. 
Please do this for me. Gosa, I love you.